the future. I travelled to the year 2039 as a future tourist and spent two weeks looking around. I'm here to tell you what life is like in New Zealand in the year 2039. The first thing I noticed is that schools are so different in the future. In 2039, school runs for only four days a week. The fifth day is dedicated to sports, music and arts. You'll have a form teacher, but most of your other classes are taught by humograms. Humograms are a mix between a human and a hologram. Humograms teach you in history, science, maths and language. Classrooms look different too. There are no books. They're just digital screens and digital desks. The bad news is, is that even if you're sick, you still have to attend class by remote. The next thing I checked out was, of course, the local shopping mall. What you need to know is that there is no cash. Instead, all payments are by credit and FPOS cards, Apple Pay and digital chips. In the mall, the robot at the door says, Hello Janelle, welcome back. The blue top that you looked at last time is now 30% off. You never need a patent counter. To buy something, you just leave the shop and the scanner automatically charges your card. Same at the supermarket. There are no checkout operators. You just push your trolley to your smart car and the scanner charges you for everything that's in your trolley. That's how it is in the shops. But most of the shopping in 2039 is done online. You order your groceries or clothing online and it'll be delivered to you in 30 minutes by a drone. Drone delivery is also how Domino's, Pizza Hut and McDonald's deliver your fast food takeaways to your own door. I walked into McDonald's restaurants in the future and there are only two humans working there. One that manages the robots and a store manager. You order through self-ordering screens at your table and the robots do all the cooking in the kitchen. And let me tell you, McDonald's fries in the future are way better. The roads in the future are a lot safer because most cars are driverless cars. There are driverless Fords, Hondas, Toyotas, but the most common one is Apple's iCar. You only self-drive if you've got a super old car or if you just really love driving. In cities, you aren't allowed to stop drive in rush hour traffic because with all the cars are driverless cars, it reduces traffic build up by 40%. If you think that smart cars will change your life, then you should see the smart homes. Smart homes lock and unlock by facial recognition, set the temperature, and turn on music. Smart kitchens can do self ordering and can restock themselves when any of your supplies have gone low. So you'll never have to worry if your chocolate stash is empty or if your little sister has raided your chip packet. Your fridge can give you meal suggestions when you get home based on what's in the fridge right now. Robots clear and set the table, so that means in 2039, no one does the dishes. Just in case you think everything is great, there are problems in the future. China, America and Russia have got huge drone armies and this is making small countries like New Zealand nervous. Some drone soldiers only weigh 2.5 kgs that are bullet and bomb proof and the other drone soldiers weigh 220 kgs and can flip a car. Another problem in the future is that unemployment is high. Drones, robots and driverless cars have taken the jobs of Kmart workers, supermarket workers, taxi drivers, posties and chefs. Basically, all the simple repetitive jobs are done by robots. So my message to you, 
house for my two week visit to 2039 is that you're going to love living in the future. It's fun, exciting and full of super cool things. But to really enjoy the future, you need to work hard at school. All the easy repetitive jobs are done by robots. So if you work hard now to develop your mind and imagination, you're going to love life in 2039.